baby, it's a look. It's a look. It's a look. It's a look. Don't you see it? Cause baby, it's a look. What is up, everybody? It's Naja here, and I'm back at it with another video. And this video is going to be a little bit different. This video is going to be showing you guys my first time ever trying to finesse a 360 wig. This is the wig back here. Letting you guys see that this is a legit 360 wig. So this is the box that it came in. And it came with a the wig, a hairnet, and then it also came with this $25 cash back coupon. And um, I requested this reddish, I'll put a picture over here, like this cherry slash burgundy 360 wig. You guys know how I love my red. I think it complements my skin tone very well. So I did go ahead and get a red type wig. Right off the bat, I'm gonna say some pros and cons about this wig. Um, I did end up cutting the lace. I measured my head and I cut the lace and stuff. I'll do a demonstration in a second, but I'm just gonna give you guys some first impressions that I realized with the wig. So I'm gonna start off with the pros. The hairline is pre-plucked, which is dope. It has baby hairs, which is even more dope. And I really like how it has like these little hairs on the perimeter to give it like a more natural look. I really like that. Obviously, I love the color. It came out better than I expected. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more brown, but it actually did come out as red as I expected. The main con I have is the lace. The lace is dyed red. And what I think happened is they used like, um, they did this, maybe like watercolor dyed it or something. Got the lace, instead of using like a protectant for the lace, it just, they just dyed the whole thing. And when I initially got the wig, I was like, oh, no big deal. I'll just um, bleach it. So I bleached the knots and the red just stayed. My biggest advice I can give to you guys, if you do want to purchase this wig in particular, is to go out and buy color oops. If you apply color oops to the lace, it'll come right out. But I ordered color oops, it kind of got put on back in because it's the holidays this week, you guys know. A lot of people are shopping and stuff. So my color oops got put on the back end, so I won't be able to do the color oops in this tutorial, but I'm going to try to do the wig cap method and then put foundation on the inside to see if maybe I can get that red out because if you guys can see, very fair skin. So it's really noticeable when it comes through, but we're gonna try to make this work. So yeah, oh, side note, hair check. Girl, my hair is growing, what's up, what's good? What's good? I don't even remember what my last big chop was. Like I literally have not even been keeping track. Oh, and another thing, while I'm putting on this wig cap, another thing about this wig is that um, the cap is like way too big for my head. I gave them my measurements, my head measurements, but it still came a little big. I think they might have given me like a, a medium cap when I really needed a small. I have a really small head, can y'all tell? So I'm not gonna lay my hair down underneath so I can kind of get a little bit of volume going on because your girl needs it because uh, <laughs> she don't, my head's not that big. So I'm just gonna be using my got to be glued stuff. Again, guys, I already have a tutorial on how I lay my wigs down. I have a how I lay my, I know I look crazy. I know I look like Roger, okay? I, I'm aware that I look like Roger. Yeah, like I already have a tutorial on how I um, lay my wigs. It's mainly how I make my, my synthetic wigs look realistic video, but the same wig cap method that I use in that video is the same method that I'm about to use right now. All right, now I'm about to do the Glamazante method that she did in one of her videos, how she like cut the space out the ear with the thing. I'm scared because I've never done this. Oh, it seems easy enough. 
Oh, bitch, what? Okay, Tay. You done put me on game. You done put me on game. First try, too. Oh, I did it a little bit too big on this side. Like, my hair is poking out, but this side isn't that bad. This is the hardest part for me because my hairline is not like a normal human being. Um, <laughs> my hairline zigzags and stuff. Y'all, if y'all watching at home, do this slow. I'm fast forwarding stuff. Like, don't cut yourself, please. Cause I've done it before and it doesn't feel great. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> I'm trying guys, I'm not a hair guru. And that's the only reason why I make these videos. Cause like, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm not a hair guru. I'm not a beauty guru. I'm not a makeup chick. Like. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Oh my God, Nadja, don't get it in your ear. Guys, comment below if you've ever gotten any of this stuff in your ear. It hurts so much. Oh my God, it's starting to slide. No, 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 no. No, this is not what we're gonna do. Oh my God. It's starting to slide. Don't slide, please. I can't afford this mistake. I just spent so long trying to keep this together. You guys saw that though, right? It just like slid back. That usually never happens to me. I usually always get it on point. Okay, this is what we're about to do. We're just about to get into action while we're, you get what I'm saying? Like while we're ahead, let's just get into action. I'm like such the anti-guru guys, like. <laughs> I don't know why people want tutorials from me whatsoever. I'm way better at like doing stuff in my own space. Yeah, this whole thing is just like pulling back. Like, why is it doing that? Did I just, y'all, I just ripped a hole in the lace. Oh my God, let me calm down. Let me calm down. Okay, I'm about to put the damn wig on. <laughs> I'm about to put this wig on. I'm not gonna lie, it actually looks better now that um, I have the wig cap underneath. Like you can kind of see, does that make any, or can you guys see it or not? I don't know, maybe I'm just being paranoid, I'm not really sure. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down bit by bit because it's already trying to stick to my head because of how I did the wig cap. But hey, if my scalp looks good, that's all that matters. I'm just gonna go in with this got to be glued and just dab around the hairline. Guys, I'm a hot ass mess. Like, <laughs> but if I can do it, you could do it, okay? Like, salon who? I ain't going to nobody's salon. I'm about to do this right here in this bathroom. Now when we get to how we're about to lay the back down, now that's gonna be funny. But as you guys can see, small forehead problems. Like, it already feels really tight. I just wanna make sure I have like an extra security blanket, but it's already feeling really tight. Some of this freaking cap is showing, but I'm just gonna tuck it under. It's already feeling really tight, but still I just wanna get a little bit more extra security. I'm just gonna put it in a back pony for now. I'm looking like a whole helmet head right now, <laughs> but it is already sticking. I just want it to be very secure. So I'm gonna go and wrap my hair down and then I'm gonna start styling this. I don't know if you guys can notice the hairline or not. I can see that it looks a little dark, so I'm definitely gonna hit it once we get everything laid down and secure. And yeah, we're gonna see if I have to make any revisions because sometimes the got to be glued sticks and then, you know, it wants to do its own thing. Yeah, right off the bat, 
that's going on. But yeah, I'm working on not making my parts so freaking wide. A lot of you guys say my parts are very wide, so I'm, I'm working on it. By the way, this is not the hair in its natural state. I did wash it after uh, I bleached the knot, so it does not look like this naturally. I will post, I posted a picture in the beginning of the video, I think, of what it looks like naturally. All right, so now that I got the hair all tamed, I'm just gonna push this hair back and work on the frontal. Now we're gonna see how strong this bad boy is. Does it need powder or is it gonna need liquid foundation? That's gonna be the real tea. Because even how it's doing it on the part, most likely gonna need liquid foundation. Guys, if you ever don't wanna get color on your lace, a good trick to do is get this got to be glued spray and then get the got to be glued gel and then make like a coat, like some layers on top before you start dyeing. And then when you're done, you can literally like um, wash it off and there's no, there's gonna be no color. It's like a little trick that I use better, but we're about to see once I hit it, once I get to do my baby hairs and actually put on a full face of makeup how much this actually blends. I don't know what this is looking like on camera, honey. Like, <laughs> what are we doing? Um, where's my edges brush? Here it is. Like one big baby hair right there. And then I'm just gonna go around. It's actually not looking too bad. I'm not gonna beat myself up. It's looking a little bit better. I hope my baby hair, that's another thing. When you have a small forehead, your baby hairs will take up like your whole damn head. Like <laughs> literally small forehead problems. Let me know in the comments below if you have a small forehead and you be struggling with the fo small forehead struggles. Cause look, my baby hair is like really close to my freaking, um, what's it called? Eyebrow, like where they do that at? Okay, I'm back again. Y'all, this is taking me so long to do, like, <laughs> should get an award. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, we got coverage. We got coverage or whatever. I like this side better than this side, like, way better. But I am kind of scared to lay the back, mainly because uh, I know that this cap is not, Small head. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Keisha. That's my mannequin. I just hit it. I just know that this cap is not little head friendly, okay? It does have a back comb, so I'm gonna make sure this back comb is secure. Maybe I should have got like a head headband or something to help. Ooh! Right, I'm looking crazy. I'm looking crazy. There's crazy and then there's me. I should have double tied this. Hold on. All right, so as you can see, like I said, it's too big for me, cause look. So I'm gonna try my best to manipulate this to look like it's gonna fit my head. So I'm gonna just try to like press, like try to somehow keep it like this. I don't know, hopefully none of my hair is actually showing. I cannot tell because it's behind me. But we're about to try to lay this down. So how I'm gonna lay this down is I'm gonna use the spray and mainly try to pin these hairs down to my neck and not so much the actual lace. That's what's really gonna keep this right here. You get what I'm saying? 
So, wish me luck, because I... <sighs> All right, guys, so it's been about like 15, 20 minutes of holding the headband on the back of my head, so I'm gonna show you guys. I don't know what it looks like. Um, you guys will have to let me know what it looks like. Again, this wood cap is too big for my head, so it probably doesn't look as good as it can be. But yeah, that's what the back looks like. I did cut these a little bit lower. So yeah, that's what we got going on. Now me, I'm just gonna wear the hair down. I just thought like for the purpose of the wig, I would show you guys that it can be put up. Uh, this is my first time doing this, so it's probably not perfect. It probably looks crazy in the back or whatever, but yeah, I'm about to go and you know, do this hair on my head, slay it real quick, and I'll be back. All right, so this is the final look. I ended up wanding it. This hair does really good with a curling wand. It just looks so pretty. Yeah, this is the final results. This is what the part and stuff looks like on this lighting and not the harsh bathroom lighting. So you guys can see. Okay, I'm gonna take my glasses off. You guys know I'm not a makeup guru, so my makeup's not perfect, but this is the final result. Um, I was gonna do like a half up, half down type of deal, but I just want it to be down. This is the texture, I just think it looks way better. What I think I'm gonna do, I think I might buy like a natural color wig from them because they did do a very good job with like the plucking and stuff. I did not have to pluck anything on this wig. I think I might just buy like a natural color from them and try to finesse that wig. I think I'll have an easier time and also make sure that I get the smallest cap that they have so it can be snug on my head because the actual hair itself is freaking gorgeous. It's just the lace and then the cap size, which could be changed, you know, but yeah, next go around, I think I'm gonna get a natural color and maybe even like a curly pattern and try it out so I could do the half up, half down. Uh, let me feel this. In the back, let's see if it's still holding up. Probably not. So if you guys like this wig, all of the information will be in the description below. Remember to get that tint out of the lace, go ahead and get the color oops. And yeah, that's about it guys. I will see you guys later, bye bye.